unit converter is a powerful AI tool that help us to convert uh, from different formats and enhance AI videos and also compress the video. Okay. Everything about the video. But today, let's focus on images. When you're landing this nice screen, you can click the Try It Free, yes, and download the Uni Converter just like mine. And after that, you can sign in by a Google account and you will land in this screen. This dashboard is so refreshing and we have many functionalities here. And basically, it is a treasure box for us, right? Because you can find easily a lot of AI tools and they are really easy to learn and also easy to use, right? So last episode, we covered eight AI tools. For example, you can convert different formats and you can pattern and you can split into different uh, clips and also you can compress your video and also add your video, right? And don't forget the killer app that is Video Enhancer, which can enhance the quality of the video. Then I mention uh, watermark remover and also subtitle editor and uh, merger. This time, let's focus on the image. So for image, we also have 8 AI tools and they are so crazy. You don't need to know any professional skills to learn it. It's very easy. I think everybody can learn it in several minutes. So first two is a batch image editor. So let's try this one. Let's upload an image of the e-commerce. When you are here, you can find we have a lot of tools to handle it. So first we have adjust. And in this drop-down menu, we have many tools and we have our original, which is the current one. And we have a custom. So in custom, you can adjust the size by manually. And also we have some certain aspiration like a one to one or 16 to nine. So it becomes so easy to chop the image into different uh, aspiration, right? And also you have to rotate and flip. So click here, you can rotate image, uh, flip it, mirror it, right? So once you click apply, the change will be applied and we have to resize it. So in the resizement, you have a different presets. For example, if you want to post in Instagram, you can click here. We have a uh, Instagram canvas, Facebook canvas, YouTube thumbnail, aspiration, and also for the Amazon. So you can find the size is not quite uh, fit. So we can go in back. And the third one is basic adjustment, like the brightness or the contrast of the image. Maybe you will regret you just uh, type the zero to it. It will be back to the default one. And the third is AI tools. So we have image enhancer. So once you click here, and if you click this toggle button, that's enable the image enhancer AI which can help you to enhance the quality of the image. See, now the quality is better and we can even upscale this to four times. This is so crazy, right? And uh, you have an image background remover and uh, enable this remove background button and uh, your background will be gone. See, now the background is gone. Right now, the background is transparent, see? and check out the age of the hair. It's perfect. It's even better than the Photoshop AI. And you can replace the transparent color by click the white or black, and even custom color, you can click here to select, right? Or sometimes when we designing the detail page of our product, we want to replace with some background image instead of the solid color. And uh, here we have some presets. So just click here. Is that very nice? So we have uh, the model holding our product, which is a uh, shampoo. And we have a very nice 3D background. And you can easily change it, it's, which is very cool, right? 
and click the same. So you can add more atmosphere, for example, like this uh, washing room. And this is perfect for my product detail page, right? So you can click the export all. And now you got yourself a very big size of the image and it's perfectly for your product page, right? And you can even add the watermark. For example, like the text um, watermark, we can reduce the transparency. It's very cool, right? But next time, if you cannot figure out where is where, you can click here to select the only the adjustments and click here to select only the AI tools. So we already went through the batch image editor and also the image background remover and uh, image enhancer, also watermark remover. And now let's try this image converter because sometimes different platforms require different format, which is crazy, right? Some are prefer the PNG, some prefer the JPEG, some prefer the different like WebP and this is crazy. We cannot figure out which uh, format should we use for the original image, right? And with this tool, you can easily handle it. So right now, we only need to click the output format and you get everything from the JPEG to the PNG, TFF, TIFF and uh, MBP. And sometimes when I sign up the contract of my YouTube channel, I require this PDF thing. And also for the web to use, they prefer the WebP. And for the iPhone, we use the HEIC. And if you worry about the size, you can also click this setting button and you can reduce the quality. Isn't that very easy to learn, right? And now we have a thumbnail maker and I will use it for my YouTube channel. This is perfect. And first thing, we need to select a style. Let's say 3D and uh, let's type. Okay, I just write down a prompt, my trip to Singapore and I select the style as a mile and click the generate. All right, we have our thumbnail generated and we have this cover. Oh, nice. And we have some buildings of the Singapore obviously right and we not only have one we have even four and i think this is perfect so next time i can use this to generate my thumbnail for my youtube and the last is a gif maker let's click here so first thing you need is a video or multiple images and we have a video of course and then click the create gif and now we have our GIF image generated. It's not moving in my MacBook, but uh, let's but let's click the, our browser and put the GIF to the browser, and we can see it, right? So next time, if you want to put a video inside of the product detail page, but you can't, you can convert your video into GIF and put them to the website, and it's done. So there are eight awesome AI tools that are in the Uni Converter for the images. Do you like it? And if you have any question you want to ask me, please leave your question inside of the comment zone below and I will reply you immediately. Okay, so much for today. I hope you like this Uni Converter and don't forget to check it out by yourself. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.